Hey y'all, so I just got out of work and oh my gosh, what a crazy day I have had. I had a charity catering event this morning with Roadhouse, which I was so happy to do. It really made me feel really good to help out some people. And then I had to go into work at Sephora, which we did have a makeup for every event today, so the store was crazy. But it was a lot of fun. So I picked up something special that one of my coworkers told me about and I was just like, yes please. And a couple of days ago I picked up something from Ulta. So the first thing I picked up from Ulta was this NYX Wicked Dreams. I don't know how else to say that. I think it's in French. I took French, but I just took it and I got an 80 and I passed and I forgot everything about it. Anyways, it's the NYX Wicked Dreams palette. And I figured I could do a first impressions video because I picked I picked it up and I didn't really swatch anything on my arm. I just saw the colors and I was like, hey, I'll just take it. In my haul video, I did purchase a couple of NYX um, eyeshadows. So I was like, hey, NYX eyeshadows, I really like them, so let me pick up a palette. The next thing I picked up from Sephora, which I have never used. I've never used any Sephora brushes, though, even though I work there. I just haven't had the chance to buy any. But we had this brush set that was on sale for like eleven dollars so here she goes and I didn't even open it I just opened it up I just looked at it in the package I unrolled it and I saw it and I was like you know what just let me have it so uh, this is gonna be a first impression of my brushes and my new NYX palette so let's start off with NYX so it comes with it says S130 eyeshadow palette and it doesn't really tell me a whole lot. It has the ingredients on the back. Cruelty free. Yay. Love bunnies. So I open it up and it has a pretty big mirror, which I'm pretty excited about, which I'm not going to try to keep y'all from seeing. Sorry, the little sponges just fell out because it is pretty bright. So it has one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has 18 shadows in here. So I'm pretty excited about it. And these are what they look like. And completely off topic, I will be getting new lighting pretty soon. Um, hopefully by next week. My mom told me about some lighting that she found, I think like at, I forgot what store. But she told me about some lighting that I'm going to try to go get next week and that she'd send me a couple of umbrellas because my mom is a photographer. That is how I got this lovely Canon camera to do my video. So, thanks mom. Anyways, so it comes with, there are some, um sparkly glittery shades in here a couple of shimmer tones uh, shimmer shadows and a good amount of mattes now my reason for picking this palette up is because I am trying to introduce more color into my collection because I usually steer towards neutrals and golds and bronzes because they complement my skin so I'm really trying to branch out and experience experiment with more colors so let's do some swatches here. Hopefully if I don't have en enough swatches on my arms from work. So the first color that I'm automatically drawn to is this blue. I wish I knew what, what the name of it was. I, I don't. It's like this midnight blue. That's what it looks like on my hand. And the pigmentation is okay on this one. I mean, I might have to run over it a couple of times. It's not very pigmented. You can barely see it. I'm kind of sad about that because I was really excited about this blue. And then I really like this orange. The orange is not too bad. It looks like orange on the palette and then it comes off looking slightly gold. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's right here. So I kind of really like this one. Once again, I'm pretty sad about it though because I'm really trying to get away from gold and bronzes and all that stuff. My spiel on neutral colors. Then there's a green in here that I really like. It is like a mossy green. And he is pretty pigmented, so I guess I can do a little something, something with that. There's a really nice shimmer. Um, I guess you would almost call this, it looks like pink. In the palette, this one right here, she looks like she's a purple. Sorry, you can see my messy bed. Looks like it's a purple, but it comes off as more of a pink. So that's what the kind of pink looks like. It's really light. There's a baby blue in here that I'm really drawn to, but it comes off looking really white. So there's the baby blue. I kind of like the baby blue. I think I could do some stuff with it. Um, there's a baby yellow in here. 
that I really like. He comes off pretty gold though. I guess for some reason a lot of colors that have yellow and peach undertones in them, they look gold on me. And I don't know if it's because since I moved to the Midwest that my skin is becoming more yellow than red like it was when I lived in Texas, but guess gold's my color. So the matte shades, eh, they're all right. I mean, I guess this is something that I could use if I'm in a hurry or, you know, I just need to pop some shadow on my lids. I mean, it's kind of a hit and miss for me with this one. The shimmers in here I really like. It's just kind of meh for me. Um, I really do like NYX, but maybe this just isn't the palette for me. I was on their website earlier today, and I did see some stuff that I liked, and I read the reviews on them, and they had pretty good reviews, so I will be ordering from them soon. So when I do order from them and I get my shipment in, I will do an unboxing first impressions. But I will do a complete and total blog review on this after I have done a couple of looks with it. And if I just so happen to like the way uh, my makeup comes out with it, I will do a tutorial. So look out for that. Now, I'm so excited because I love brushes. I have so many brushes. It's it's kind of stupid. I'm not even going to show you because they're not clean. I will do a brush video eventually, but not right now. No. This is a powder brush. So he's fat. I like it because the powder brush that I have from Sonia Kashuk. So if I'm saying, saying that name wrong, somebody please tell me down below how to pronounce it because I don't know. So anyways, he's really soft. It's not, um, it's not very hard like my other uh, my other two face brushes are. I like that it's kind of flat and then it branches out because I feel like I can use it almost to blend out my contour and my blush, not just uh, for powder. But it's really soft. I like the way it feels. So I'm pretty excited about him. It it's not duo fiber, I don't believe. It didn't say it on the the packaging. I lost the packaging. I get excited and I tear stuff open. So. I don't think it's duo fiber. I don't know what the fiber of it is. I will try to figure it out and I'll put it down below, but I just, I don't know. So that's him. This is a small contouring brush, which I'm super stoked for because I did say in my haul video that I picked up that Sonia Cashew Kabuki brush for contouring, which I wound up, I ended up using it for my foundation. So whatever. So I'm pretty excited about this little guy. He's very, he feels really dense, but yet it feels really small. So I'm really excited to use that to carve out the hollows of my cheeks. I'm just, I'm really excited. I think this is going to be my favorite brush out of this whole little um, set that I got. So I'm really excited for him. I already have one fan brush, but she sheds a lot. So it came with a fan brush. And I know fan brushes are usually used to do highlighting and things like that, which I do do. But I have found, oh, it sheds a little bit. I have found uh, fan brushes useful just to dust powder over my face when I'm not trying to just like to cake my finishing powder on. I have found these useful for that. So I do enjoy the fact that I got a new fan brush because he's really soft. I hope it doesn't shed, so I'm pretty excited about him. Moving on to eye brushes, I got a fat blending brush. So there he goes. I I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one yet. I have quite a few blending brushes. This does look like it is duo fiber. Um, it does feel, it doesn't feel super, super dense, but it does feel soft. So I'm just excited to see how much color. Um, I'm just excited to see how well it blends out color and things like that because whenever it comes to brushes like these, after I've used um, my fluffy brush like in my crease and I've packed in my crease color, I like to use brushes like these just to go in there and to make sure there's no harsh lines because a fluffy brush, uh, depending on what look I'm going for, it's good for like my smoky eyes, but when I'm doing something that's a little more precise, I like to use brushes like these. But that's just my preference. So that's my little fat blending brush. I got a precision shadow brush. I automatically know I'm going to use this to highlight in my brows because this is just the kind of brush I like to use to highlight in my brows. Usually, um, I've seen a lot of people use these for on their lid, 
but I just personally like to use this kind of brush for highlighting um, under my brows. I had a teeny tiny one from Eco Tools, and I used that sucker up because I just I really liked it. Cheap brand Walmart, but I really liked it. So he fell to pieces, and now I'm just really happy that I got this one because before I had been using I'm trying to look at my brushes. Sorry, y'all. I had been just using a flat shader brush, so now I'm really excited that I got this one. He feels really nice, pretty soft. So let's find out. Smudge brush, yay! Because nobody can ever have too many smudge brushes. Because today, as you can see, I have a really intense smoky eye on, and I did use my smudge brush um, from e.l.f., and he's never let me down, but I'm really excited to have this one. The other smudge brush that I got in my Sonia Cashew set from my fiance for my birthday. Um, I like it, it's just a little uh, harsh for me. The bristles feel really harsh and they kind of hurt. So, I'm really excited about this one. He's really short. I feel like I like the way that the, the ferrule feels, that I have good control over it. So, I'm really excited about this one. I, I say I'm really excited about everything, right? Sorry, I'm just an excited person. Ah! This guy right here, an angled liner brush. I feel kind of silly because I did just buy a new angled liner brush. But, um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one yet. He feels like he could be pretty soft and it will probably glide over my lid pretty well. But I usually like my angled brushes for my liner to be more dense just because I feel like it gives it a more clean look with gel liner. But we, we'll see. I could be wrong. We nev You never know. I could be wrong. And then I got just a, a brow comb and brush. I already have one of these. I use them sometimes. I don't really reach for them that often. Uh, I use them on falsies. I know I have not put up a video of me using false eyelashes. I will soon because somebody did request to see how to apply false lashes. lashes and Lord knows I know how to apply them because everybody knows I am a drill team baby. So false lashes, I know how to do them. I will hopefully tomorrow be doing a just random makeup tutorial with this. Just step by step what I'm using, the consistency of it, what brush I'm using, just so if anybody else has used this and they found a better way to get better pigmentation out of it, they can just let me know. So look out for that within the next couple of days. I know this was a really short video, but like I said, I'm really trying to push out as many videos as I can so y'all can get a feel of who I am and my personality if you don't know me already. So you know what you'd like to see, and if there's any questions that you want to ask me, you just know who I am and what I do. So like I said, be on the lookout this week. I will try to push a few more out, and I think I'm going to change my background. I don't know. My mom said that she hates it, so... Yeah, so if you have any suggestions for a background, let me know. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I love y'all. See you later. Okay. Get it together. Oh my god, look at my nails. My nails are so bad. I can't believe they let me stay at work like this. This is so bad. I need to go paint my nails. <laughs>